What we're going to be doing today is creating a lead acid battery. So what we have is two lead plates here. Uh, they're going to be in our beaker. Um, we're going to add some sulfuric acid, which is also necessary for a lead acid battery. So we'll pour that in now. Um, the battery itself, as we construct it here, is not charged. Um, lead acid batteries are a secondary cell, so they can be uh, they can be charged and discharged, of course, when you use them. How we're going to charge that is we're going to connect it up to the power pack on DC current positive to the terminal that we want to be the positive terminal on our battery and negative to the negative terminal on our battery and then turn it on. Uh, I'll just turn that voltage down just a little. You'll see there's clearly some reactions happening there so at the moment we're using the electricity to cause a chemical change to occur on the various electrodes there. Um, once that's been running for a period of time what we'll do is we'll disconnect the power pack and we will uh, use our now charged battery to reverse the process. So instead of using electricity to produce a chemical change, we'll use the chemicals to produce an electrical change, hopefully uh, lighting up our light bulb. Thanks. Okay, this has been charging now for about five minutes, so we'll turn it off. Uh, our battery is fully charged. You can see there's clearly been a change in our, uh, our lead acid cell. Uh, it, you can't tell, but it's quite warm. The charging process has an excess of heat to it. And we'll just connect it up to a battery and make use of the chemical energy that we've now got stored in our battery. Nice. nice. And that should, nice. should last for a little while, maybe 20 seconds or so. Um, and as the battery goes flat, obviously the globe will uh, diminish eventually. Riveting. Look at that. Great stuff. Yep. And stop. That'll do.